Greg Chick with DIYPlumbingAdvice.com. Today in this video we're going to review the WaterQuick research system by FasterHotWater.com. The system consists of a three-speed pump, a flow switch that activates the pump only when you want hot water, and a control module that runs the electronics. This system is going to be replacing a standard circulation system that operates off of a timer. That timer may run the pump longer and have wasted uh, energy in the heat loss from that. This system only heats, uh, circulates the water when you want the hot water. So it doesn't matter if you have a tank or a tankless unit. Uh, FasterHotWater.com has a system for you. But this system here is a tank and it has a dedicated return line coming back to the bottom of the tank. So that's where we're going to put the pump and for the switch to control it, we're going to put the flow switch up here on the cold water inlet to the tank. That, with the control module, makes the full system. Going towards the water tank. It's unionized, so we don't have any problems. And this has a gasket in it. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see. Okay, so we need some hot water at the far fixture. We've got a 1.8 GPM faucet here. We're going to uh, trigger the pump system and uh, turn it off and wait. The pump should now be triggered because of the flow switch at the water heater and it'll run and uh, we should give it a minute. So let's see how long it takes to get the hot water here. We're going to turn it on and our goal is better than 50 seconds, so 42 seconds. We're looking for 110 degrees. <clears throat> it's, oh, wow, you're pretty good. It's almost 90. little air on the line there but getting close to a to a hundred that looks like a hundred degrees and it's at 46 seconds and now it's looks like 110 degrees right there so our test shows that we got hot water at this faucet in this house in about the same amount of time. It wasn't any quicker. But this system is on demand and only runs when we're trying to ask for hot water. So the pump is not running all the time. That means you're not wasting heat all the time. That means you're saving money on your fuel bill. So the system here with this dedicated return line in this location wasn't much quicker. But with a tankless unit this system would probably work a little quicker because of the higher capacity on the pump or if you didn't have the dedicated return line and you use the crossover valve at this point uh, your circulation is closer to the faucet so I would say this, this system, this pumping system was much better I would use it in my house if I had it um, simply because it would not be heating the slab or heating the attic in my case the slab and I wouldn't have to be cooling that heat and I wouldn't be wasting the energy so I say it's a good system thanks for watching so for more information go to DIYPlumbingAdvice.com can you do it? yes you can
and I can help. Thank you. This is actually pretty bitchin'. 